Docker is a place and tool meant for making it easier to come with, arrange and manage apps through use of cartoons. The apps package includes its dependency, for instance, libraries and frameworks, and wrapped up as a containers for software development. In contrast to traditional virtual machines, Docker container employs the kernel of the host operating system in order to be lightweight, quick to run and resource efficient. As such, creating software, sending it out or using it becomes easier with this method as well as it making easier to scale in all ensuring some kind of uniformity and enabling teamwork with an operating systems and developers using the various tools. Hi everyone and welcome to this video on the content on what is Docker. We will learn about what is Docker, its intro, some real world use cases and Docker versus virtual machine and its architecture and so on. So before we begin, please do like and share and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also visit the Edureka website on the Docker certification training course, the link to which is given in the description box below. Let's continue the video. Organizations currently are increasing their usage of microservice architectures and cloud-based applications. Thus, Docker has become an integral tool for contemporary programming approaches that has done innovations by enabling quicker and reliable deployment of applications. Now let's see some real-world use cases or real-world applications. Containers are Docker used in several industries. The use of Docker containers has been adopted to make operations more effective. For instance, healthcare, education, finance, e-commerce and other sectors use the capabilities that Docker provides to streamline their IT and ensure dependable services. Here are some different use cases of Docker containers that you can take a closer look. First is the development and testing efficiency. Standardized development environment, Docker ensures that all developers work on uniform, consistent environments across different systems, reducing incompatibility and also configuring drift using application portability. Crucially, in the context of the case of Alibaba Cloud, which applies Docker in standardizing development setups across teams. Ease onboarding of new developers, that is, setup procedures for Docker containers are simple. It hence implies that it is easy to have new members fast set up their development environment while onboarding. That's why when bringing a new developer, Netflix used Docker. This could accelerate the setup procedures of the company, after which a new member could start contributing fast. Next is the continuous integration and continuous deployment. That is the CI-CD pipeline of the Docker enables automated testing and deployment pipelines, thereby making processes easier and fast reliable for delivery of the software. How this helps can be seen in the Carnival Corporation. The company uses Docker for CI-CD pipelines on its Medallion class program. It makes it easier for Carnival to offer continuous, seamless updates and improvements in cruise ship services. The next application is Smart Disaster Recovery. It's always a great idea to map the development pipeline to add the most one OS or a few dedicated machines to keep variations at the base. Not all problems could have been anticipated. However, what if the data ported on a different machine gets corrupted? Docker, yes, does correct dependency problems. But could it solve such data storage corruptions? The answer is yes. One can instantly create and disrupt container tasks at will. And with the help of Docker use cases, it enables you to realize that you can commit the data within the container platform just before the image file is transferred to an another machine. Hence, you can therefore be able to restore your data in case something goes wrong with the use of Docker images. Moreover, if your business is already using the cloud or considering migrated towards the cloud, arranging a DR plan on the zone of the cloud can be done with a great ease. Let's see some Docker use cases for various industries verticals. First one is the media and entertainment. It was with the advent of containers that Netflix would decide to adopt Docker and create its own infrastructure for running of deep functions. Using its integrated Amazon EC2 services, in time the project would be named Titus. At Netflix, Docker is used in Titus to focus mainly on deployment and act as a job scheduling system. This platform creates user en masse and Titus helps create sophisticated infrastructure at a quick rate to help developers specify exactly what code and dependencies are required. In addition to Linux and Docker, Netflix also implemented their own multi-tenant isolation. This aids in pushing new updates faster and also caters to users with detailed preference-based requirements. Next is the healthcare. The National Institutes of Health have been used Docker containerization technologies in sharing imaging software uses 
services with over 40 hospitals in US, proving its mobility and flexibility. It also does curating data from different websites, including artificial intelligence, which aids doctors to make informed decisions. NIH uses Docker to power containers for testing new imaging technologies in hospitals. It also enables the practice of continuous integration and testing with all hospital collaborators to ensure that state-of-the-art technologies are in place. Next, let's see Docker versus Virtual Machine. Before that, let's know what is Virtual Machine. A virtual machine is a computing environment or software that aids developers to access an operating system via a physical machine. Now, let's dig into the concept of Docker versus Virtual Machine. While Docker and Virtual Machine both are visualization technologies, their purposes are different with diverse architectures as shown. Let's see the virtual machine. The isolations of the virtual machine isolate the guest OS from the host OS. Every virtual machine has a full OS instance running all itself, Windows or Linux, and it utilizes all its resources solely for this reason. Resource intervention of virtual machines are heavier in terms of resource usage, since they require an intervening hypervisor to emulate hardware and handle multi-OS instances. The flexibility in terms of rapid deployment and scaling. Virtual machines are pretty less flexible since they are starting their new virtual machine means booting up an entire OS. The use cases of virtual machine, that is, this is typically done with virtual machines when running different applications on the same physical machine with dissimilar OS requirements. Or when a high degree of isolation between different applications or tenants need to be provided. Docker provides the following. Containerization that is, Docker containerization involves encapsulating the application and its dependencies in lightweight containers. Containers share the host OS kernel and are hence lighter than virtual machines. The efficiency of Docker containers are resource efficient since they do not need an instance of OS per container. Portability and scalability Docker containers have high portability and scalability. They can be moved across different environments, development, testing and production with no compatibility problems. Use cases. This tool is normally used for the microservices architecture, CI, CD and environments that are in need of fast deployment and scaling. Key differences and resource efficiency. Docker containers are light and resource friendly as compared to virtual machines. Isolation. If compared to isolation capabilities, the Docker containers provide outweighed virtual machines. That is, virtual machines are much more strongly isolated, while Docker containers run a shared host OS kernel would still have a good isolation by namespaces and control groups. Speed of deployment. Compared to virtual machines, Docker containers can be started almost instantaneously considering only the booting time of an entire OS in the case of virtual machines. Use case. Virtual machines are used for running multiple applications with different OS requirements. And Docker is used for microservices and containerized applications. In summary, the choice between the Docker and virtual machines depends on a particular needs of your application and environment. Virtual machines are better when I isolated or several OS instances running is required. While Docker containers win regarding efficiency, scalability and fast deployment of applications, many modern applications use both technologies together, with virtual machines for infrastructure part and Docker for application deployment and management. Now let's see the Docker architecture. Docker is based on the client server architecture with three major components. Docker client, Docker host and Docker registry. Let's see what is Docker Client. Docker Client communicates with the Docker daemon, that is the server, by using commands and REST APIs. When the client runs on any Docker command on the Docker Client terminal, it sends these Docker commands to the Docker daemon from the client terminal. This Docker command is received by the Docker daemon from the Docker Client in form of command and REST APIs request. Docker Client uses command line interface CLI to run the following commands, that is Docker Build, Docker Pull, and Docker Run. Next, let's see Docker Host. Docker Host provides an environment to run and execute applications. It contains the Docker daemon, images, containers, networks, and storage. Next is the Docker Registry. This is where Docker Registry comes in to manage and store these Docker images. There are two kinds of registries in Docker Public Registry and the Private Registry. Public Registry is also referred to as a Docker Hub and the private registry shares images within the enterprise. Next, let's see the Docker objects. There are the following Docker objects. First one is the Docker images. Docker images are the read-only binary templates used to create Docker containers. 
It uses a private container registry to share container images with the enterprise and also uses public container registry to share container images within the whole world. Metadata is also used by Docker images to describe the container's abilities. Next is the Docker containers. Containers are the structural units of Docker. It is also used to hold the whole package needed to run the application. One of the benefits of containers is that they require very few resources. Otherwise, we may say that the image is a template and from the container, the copy produced. Next is the Docker networking. By using Docker networking, an isolated package can be communicated. Docker contains the following network drivers. Firstly, it is the bridge. Bridge is a default network driver for the container. It is used when multiple Docker communicates with the same Docker host. Next comes the host. It is used when we do not need a network isolation between the container and the host. Next is the none. It disables all the networking. Finally, the overlay. Overlay provides swarm services to communicate with each other. It allows to run containers on different Docker host. Next is the Docker storage. Docker storage is nothing but it used to store data on the container. And Docker provides the following options for the storage. First is the data volume. That is, data volume provides the ability to create persistent storage. It also allows us to name volumes, list volumes and container associated with the volumes. Next is the directory mounts. One of the best options in Docker for storage. This will mount a directory from the host to inside the container. Next is the storage plugins. This enables the linking of other external storage platforms. In the light of foregone, Docker has indeed nailed its position to be a fundamental technology in current software development and deployment. The role that Docker takes in containerization has altered everything related to the packaging, deployment and scaling of an application across divergent environments. Despite the raging competition and emerging trends in the orchestration of containers, Docker still maintains a high adoption rate through its user-friendly interface vast community support and very robust ecosystem. The future of Docker is bright as long as it does good job in tight integration with Kubernetes and other cloud native technologies. Security, scalability and developer experience enhancement probably will further drive evolutions. While enterprises turn to containerized applications for agility and efficiency, the influence of Docker on the software industry is not going to be fade away anytime soon certainly making it a fundamental toolset in both modern infrastructure and application development. Now, with this, we have come to the end of the video in What is Docker? To know more about this content, visit our course. The link is given in the description box below. I hope you liked this video. Thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment it and you can comment and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!